What's up, YouTube? Erod212 here, and I went to Garden State Collectors Fest today. What did I get? All right, so Garden State Collectors Fest, one of the bigger shows I've been to since COVID has... Uh, finished or shall we say you know restrictions have opened up a little more uh it was in elizabeth new jersey and it was a great show uh not only were there numerous vendors selling comic books and magazines uh there were also pop figures action figures statues and they had some artists they had some decent artists too you had scott Hanna there uh chris campagna was there uh Tom Rainey is going to be there. He wasn't able to make it today. But just some, you know, quality names. Uh, Keith Williams was there also. So it was good. And there was some really good vendors. Um, and some deals to be found. Watch the deals to be found. But you know what? Let's take a look at the show floor first. What's going on? Joe Rock Comics. You're here with Michael Carbonaro. That's not fair. Hey, guys. The money. It's nice to be back at the Comic Con. It's good stuff we here, right? We love Comic Con. Come on, look at the selection over here. Let's take a look at Joe Rock stuff here. You can't, you can't beat this. I know something about this because I gotta show people this. Joe Rock. You can't, you can't compare. We just got rid of House of Secrets by five, five. Yeah. No, that's the Fantastic Four. <laughs> it's, He's it's, still got it's the banner of comics. <laughs> Hold on, I got something. Show him what you got, Joe. Show me what else you got, Joe. Ooh. How about this? Watch me pull a rabbit out of my pocket. Oh my god. Look at that. Quick as the flash. Wow. I mean, That's it, the Amazing Fantasy 15 of the DCs. It's only a showcase for there only, you go. only. That's the book. Only. Wow, amazing. No, that spider.
All right, so hit this one booth, and there was some really nice books. Um, Justice number four, great cover right there. New Avengers number 40, I believe that's the first uh, female scroll. Uh, these are all the same booth. Marvel Now point one, first Sam Alexander, another copy of point one. A nice Annihilation Conquest, uh, first appearance of Wraith, a book that caught a lot of steam. It's kind of died down now, but still a good book to have future spec. Book I'll always take if I get it. Um, Basic Spider-Man 568. And this is the Dynamic Forces variant. Uh, really nice. And then the two books I got there that I was real happy with. Uh, Saga number one in a fifth print. And Saga number one in a fourth print. Pretty nice, right? Um, went to a booth that guys are usually set up at the smaller shows I go to. So I always, I'm always i loyal and I always try and buy at least one item from them. And he had a pretty decently priced uh, Nova number one. So I grabbed this immediately. Uh, he gave me about $10 off the cover price on it. Uh, thing with this, this book has been flying under the radar again lately. You know, it, it's like everything else. You get hot news. And everybody clamors for the hot news and forgets about the old stuff. And this is one of the books that was super hot for a while and everybody's backed off a little bit. I would grab this if I could now. It's kind of that like that Luke Cage. Uh, my man Joe Rock from Joe Rock Collectibles had a booth set up there. And he steered me to this uh, vendor as soon as I walked in. And uh, I was pleasantly surprised. So um, these are the books I found there. It's Thundercats number 10. But newsstand edition. Another copy. Newsstand. Thundercats number nine. Newsstand. Uh, another number nine. Newsstand. Number eight. Newsstand. And number eight. Newsstand. These were a buck a piece. I went by another booth and the guy wanted like $25, $30 each. So just gotta look. Gotta dig in those boxes. This guy had a lot of inventory. A lot, a lot of inventory. Had this book, which just got hot, right there. Um, Captain America number 290. $4. Take that. Um, another dollar book. Superboy number zero. First the cameo of Tiger Shark, but this is the newsstand edition. Um, X-Men 24. That Kiss book has gotten really, really popular. Uh, Sell for like $25. I got these at 6 bucks a pop. X-23, Target X, $4. And I think this one was 15 And that's uh, X-23, number one. I think that's her first ongoing solo title. And the last book I got from there. Yes, he had a Young Avengers, number one. And this was in one of his long boxes. Can you believe that? That was in a long box. Uh, it was priced fair, but in a long box. I don't ever see that book in a long box anymore. Uh, went to another vendor and once again just to show you the way I spend and what I buy bought another nice copy of Nova number one and I was also able to find this another copy of Gambit number one the miniseries this is the gold foil edition this book has gotten crazy hot uh, this book has some issues it has two ticks by the, by the spine but the back cover which is black usually gets messed up and this back cover was really nice um marvel chillers now the last books here all right so it's four books here and these are for my boy joe rock collectibles you'll see him when you look in the video um he had a smaller booth but amazing stuff golden age silver age keys all over the place uh gave me a great great deal on marvel chillers number one uh first Cathan, x-men number four first appearance of moment omega red ready Invincible iron man number nine first riri williams and the final book I got there was a really nice copy. I'm hoping for at least a five on this. Maybe better. Luke Cage, Hero for Hire. Number one.
Joe Rock Collectibles. Good books, man. He has some good, good books. I actually saw him sell a House of Secrets 92, 5.5. And he had another one up on the shelf for 3.5 for sale still. So just, just want to show you. And take a look. You'll see those books uh, uh, in the video. But that's the haul. It was great. Oh, you know what? One more thing. Let me show you one more thing. So the other thing I do, and I don't think I've ever shown you guys. I've shown maybe in older videos is I like to get jam pieces done. So when I talk about jam pieces, uh, we'll, we'll do this. So I got Ace Continuado during uh, COVID to sketch out Wolverine and, and do a layout of all heroes and villains that I had asked for. I got Scott Hanna today to do a pencil for me. So Scott Hanna did a character that he's drawn and was familiar with, and he did Cyclops for me. So the beginning of the jam piece begins. Hopefully I'll be able to take this with me to Terrific Con and add one or two. Uh, it, it's, it's a long labor, but it is amazing. Take a look at that. Yeah, uh, sorry I forgot to share that. But yeah, that was the haul. Uh, good time, great, great time at the show. Ran into a bunch of YouTubers and uh, fans and everything like that. It was fantastic just interacting with everybody. Again, it felt like being at a real show. So until my next video, peace.